Hello everyone, it is me, Anthony Coach, here yet again with another video. And if you're watching this video, chances are you are a guitar player that has got, you know, a, an arsenal of really cool licks and runs that you play that sound amazing. However, over time, you may have found yourself playing those same things over and over again and your fingers just fall into these patterns. And you might be looking for ways to break out of that box. So in this video, I'm going to suggest to you a really easy method which aims to break you out of those same old runs that you've been playing. Sound good? Well, I hope so because that's all I'm going to be talking about in this video. Uh, so here we go. Are you a guitar player? Do you want to get better at playing guitar? Do you want free videos from an experienced guitar teacher? If so, then subscribe to my channel. You'll find loads of free videos. So you're in this rut. You're playing the same kind of things um, over and over again, licks and runs. They probably sound amazing because you've practiced them loads and loads and loads and you got very, very fast at them. But you want to branch out. And over kind of any backing track or solo or composition, you find yourself bringing them out and uh, playing the same things over and again. You want new stuff to play. But before I get started, I'm going to tell you what scale I'm using. I'm in the key of C major, and I'm going to be using the C major, or Ionian shape. Very familiar to you, I hope. Uh, but just in case it isn't, I'm just going to run through it now very slowly. We're starting on fret 8 on the low E string. <laughs> So first of all, I'm going to number each of those notes. It went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I want you to do now is I want you to get rid in your mind of any kind of idea of playing a run that is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is a time and place for that kind of playing and it sounds really, really good. But the aim of this video is to get you to play new things and keep your fingers guessing. And what we're going to do, we're going to use sequencing. When you sequence a scale, you take an almost mathematical or formulaic approach to the numbers that you're, you know, the, num the scale degrees that you're playing. And this very first example that I'm going to show you is uh, we're not going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, and so on until we reach that upper root note again or the octave. <laughs> you from you know the the root note up to the octave but it, it it's it's not so linear it's bam 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 so the line instead of just going ba da 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 we now got ba ba bam ba ba bam 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 really effective and you can do that across both octaves of this scale And you can get it much, much faster than that, I'm sure. You could, you could even play it without picking, you know, legato. And of course, what goes up must come down. So you can do it backwards, which would be eight, seven, six, seven, six, five, six, five, four, five, four, three, and so on until you reach your root note. And I'm gonna do it already across those two octaves. And I'm gonna start on D as well, just because I'm feeling very, um, And again, get it ultra fast, do it in different scales. This is just one slow, medium tempo example in C Ionian. And if you've got the idea of that now, you can choose almost any number. Uh, what about just the number four? One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> the octave there, do it across two octaves. Gets you thinking. Yeah, I could, I could just do that again better and edit it in, but I want this video to show you that it, these are meant to kind of be 
runs and licks that your fingers aren't used to playing, so I'm going to leave that in. Not everyone on YouTube is an insanely talented shredder. And then the same pattern backwards. <laughs> Effective. Now, so far, we've been sticking with very musician friendly uh, numbers. And what I mean by that is, as musicians, we like to play, to group in our mind twos, threes, fours, sixes, eights, uh, anything divisible by those, just to get our heads around it. But what if we choose the number five? This is where things start to get really interesting and really force you out of those comfort zones. It's really going to test our fingers. Gives you some really interesting sounding runs. And I'm going to quickly stop there because already there's something that is forcing me to think because I've got to play fret 10 on the A string and then fret 10 on the E string. Very awkward. That's not the kind of thing that would just fall under my fingers if I was just improvising over the key of C. I wouldn't really play stuff like that. I'd just play the stuff I know. So when in practice, come up with some odd numbers when you're doing these sequences. Okay, a bit strange at the end there, but you could probably see on my face the concentration. That's my concentrating face. And uh, let's see if I could get that a bit quicker or smoother. No, no, I can't. But then that's the point. That is the point of this video. This, this, this video is not for me to show off. This is, I'll, I'll show, you know, some licks that I've got really, really fast. And I'm just going to show you them blisteringly fast as a way of showing off. This is me going, here's some hard stuff that I can't do. Practice it. And it's so good for your fingers. Uh, let me try it backwards. So go in. Uh, eight seven six five seven six five four all in five <laughs> I find that really difficult, which, you know, if you're like me, alarm bells ring when I find something really difficult. And in my mind, I think practice that because it's a really, really good way of improving. Find something you can't play and then learn to play it. But in this video, I've been, I've taken a very kind of linear approach going one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five. You can skip over numbers when you do sequences. So what about one, three, two, four, three, five, four, six. That sounds really cool. And obviously backwards. Uh, eight, six, seven, five, six, four. Really good exercise for singing as well and getting your ears used to interv intervallic leaps. So by all means, sing along if you like. You know, that one, some are easier than others. Uh, so I know that that one I could get really, really quick if I, if I put my mind to it and switch that metronome on. But what about another interval leap? Something a bit crazier. What about uh, one, five, two, three, four, two, six, Three, four, five, three, seven, four, five, six. Very weird, this one. Yes, I'm not very good at it, but that is the point. It's meant to force you out of your comfort zone. You're meant to sit with a metronome and practice them until you are extremely good at them. So hopefully this video has inspired you to play and think outside of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight box that we can uh, fall into a little bit. And also get you out of that rut that you've been in where you're just playing the same ideas. 
Um, you can take little snippets of the ideas that you come up with in these runs and these sequences and just turn those into licks. So a very quick demonstration is in the middle of that last one, that horrible one, um, I played something along the lines of this. <laughs> I've never in a million years dreamt up that kind of lick had I just, you know, sat down to write a lick. It took thinking formulaic and mathematical and away, not 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 kind of almost not musical frame of mind and just thinking of numbers, but it came up with something really cool and an extremely good exercise because it uses all the fingers, uh, it's got string skipping. <laughs> I know through experience that that could go ultra ultra fast because it's alternate picking and it's all in one nice little position but it's an odd thing to practice it gets you out of that rut try it sequencing let me know in the comments if this helped let me know in the comments if this didn't help either way i hope you enjoyed it and um i've been anthony coach subscribe for more thank you for that One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.